a lot of news to cover, but I only mention this, not that it's important or not that it matters. That's why the mainstream media is dying, but White House connected, George Soros connected, Media Matters connected, uh, raw story. It came out with an article saying Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones when he was on Friday with me in studio. Democratic Party, now the KKK, but with minorities. And that's just a historical fact. We break it down in the full interview that's on Infowars.com. They go on to say Fox News host Tucker Carlson appeared on right-wing conspiracy enthusiasts Alex Jones' internet-only radio show Friday. The two men shared their paranoia about Latino immigrants. Well, no, I mean, they're going to vote to take the guns. I mean, that's the Democratic Party says that, dubbing them the new Ku Klux Klan. We didn't say that. We said that the Democratic Party couldn't get stop the Republicans with the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act, so they flipped from being the racist to then race politics with minorities, but making it about race, not issues. We should all be unified around Bill of Rights Constitution. So it's this whole article is a deception on what we really said. And then they say, I'm on no AM or FMs. When this show, last time I checked, was on 90-something. It varies back and forth. The weekday show, over 160. It's in Talkers Magazine. The affiliates are all listed. You're listening to us all over the country on AM and FM stations. We've dominated on the Internet as well. <clears throat> it's just freaky to see how they say Obamacare doesn't raise your premiums and you can keep your doctor. And it doesn't have death panels when it does. It's freaky to see Obama say the NSA doesn't listen to Americans when it does. It's freaky to see him say we didn't ship guns to Mexico when they did. It's freaky to say they didn't stand down at Benghazi when they did. It's freaky when Al Gore says the North Pole melted this year when it didn't. It got bigger. I mean, it's scary. It's scary how they lie. It's scary. I try to tell the truth and make mistakes and get upset and come back and correct it. I try to tell the truth. I couldn't imagine telling my listeners, you know, the Washington Monument doesn't exist and the sun doesn't. But Obama, our God, our Lord and Savior, as Jamie Foxx says, Barack Obama, he exists. Nothing exists but Obama. The sun comes up because of him. He is everything. Kim Jong-il is everything. I mean, Hitler is everything. Mao is everything. I mean, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of the ignorance of the public. I'm a liberal. Thomas Jefferson, guns, family, property, freedom, do what you want. The Democrats are a bunch of criminal scum, and the Republican leadership is as well. The average Democrat in the streets, a well-meaning person, part of their group, they are loyal to the group. I don't blame you. But all I'm saying is look at your leadership. They're, they're taking over. If the Republicans were taking over, I'd be against them. They're dangerous. I want separation of powers. But this mind control is like, you know, when Luke Skywalker is talking to Jabba the Hutt or Hillary Clinton, he says, he goes, don't try that teeny Jedi. I'm not weak-minded. Well, I'm not weak-minded either. But this stuff works on the public. You know, these aren't the droids you're looking for. So why doesn't Ross Story just say, I don't exist? They're attacking me every couple days because I do exist and I'm kicking their ass. But let's go ahead and go to a training video for George Soros and things like uh, Ross Story. Here it is. How long have you had these? About three or four seasons. They're up for sale if you want them. Let me see your identification. That's the, you don't that's need the, to that's see the, the uh, Reuters, uh, we don't excuse me, uh, raw story guy. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Alex doesn't have any audience. These aren't the droids we're looking for. It doesn't for. exist. He can go about his business. Now move along. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. <laughs> move along. I mean, these people literally think they control reality. And a hero like Obi-Wan Kenobi in Archetype, I don't want to compare, you know, the guide in Archetypes to these people. They're the opposite of the guide. The point is he's using misdirection against the weak-minded who are evil. They're trying to suppress and, and manipulate people that are trying to find the truth and who think they're liberals, who are literally the heart of a fascist control freak cult. Now, let's go to the big report before a few phone calls for uh, Brad and Scott, if we have time to get to them. I'm going to at least get to Brad, but probably Scott. Here is a Leanne McAdoo, John Bound report. It's not as powerful if you're not watching at PrisonPlanet.tv, but they went out to Austin to talk to folks on 6th Street. Do they know what killed John Adams is the big question. And the obvious answer is Air Force One, John Adams, uh, ate peanuts. Here it is, folks. Special assignment, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for the true patriots. Is the knowledge still alive and well? He's on a party scene on electric 6th Street bowl in Austin, Texas. Mechanical, mechanical. Can you name 
all seven continents of the Earth? Of the Earth. So there's uh, Asia, Africa, South America, North America, so pretty good. Europe, Antarctica, Eurasia, South. Trendy. No, wait. Trendy. Oh yeah, is Australia? No, Australia's not a continent. Oh, it is a continent. Is it Asia? Antarctica, um, Arctic, America, South America. Um, Africa, yeah. China, Japan, Hong Kong. You know, Canada, you know, Africa. Three of the Bill of Rights. Uh, that would be... Man, you are picking a hard night for me. Can you name the vice president? Dick Cheney? John Boner. Was John Adams allergic to the peanuts on Air Force One? Yes. Yes. He was. I think that's how he died. Really? Yeah, the peanuts. That's tragic. It is. So, Somebody should have been on board making sure, you know, eating the peanuts before he did. Leanne McAdoo, oh. hot. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Uh, you remember when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? 1941. The journey to find some red-blooded Americans continues. <laughs> when we fought Hitler, what war was that? World War II. Only the transvestite now. Thank you very much. You're a true patriot. Is a of patriot. course I am. I'm an American. Are you? John Adams, was he allergic to the peanuts on Air Force One? No. No? No. You finished, but no, that's not my understanding of how he died. <laughs> Who is the greatest president of the United States? Manda. <laughs> Well, we've had some very interesting responses out here mingling with the drunk and brainless, but the jury is still out on whether or not there is any hope for humanity. Now, if you've got some questions that you'd like us to ask these fine folks the next time we're out here, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And John Bowne gets thrown off the ball here. This is awesome. Infowars! This video's on Infowars right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at him head first off the ball. Unbelievable. Let's jam in a few calls. Brad, Nebraska, retired military, Crimea, Russian language uh, linguist. Go ahead. Yeah, actually, your call screener got that wrong. I said there was a language component to the whole Crimean Okay, thing. well, they my wrote Russian... that on the screen. Go ahead. Oh, my Russian's as good as FBS Russian. But it, anyway. it, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and make your point, brother. Oh. Hey, uh, they, they passed a referendum in the Ukraine a couple months ago saying that minority languages could be used for business and daily use, Russian being included in those minority languages. As soon as the new government took over, they excluded that, and they told everybody, no, we got to go back to all Ukrainian, which instantly ticked off most of the Crimea. And the other point I wanted to make is that I was looking at the mass men that have been surrounding the, uh, the parliament building there in the Crimea, and they're definitely, I don't think they're Russian military. I think they're just local Crimeans because the weapons handouts are a lot different from picture to picture. So I think it's the Crimeans that are have started this uh, to separate themselves from the Ukrainians. And one of the parliament members of the Crimea has, the autonomous state of Crimea, I might add, said that we invited Russia to come in and kind of safeguard stuff until... No, that's right. They're on record. Great right points. I'm out of time. Hey, crew, excellent job as usual. All of our affiliates that do not exist, according to Obi-Wan raw poopy story, uh, one of the Obama's droppings. In fact, this show does not exist, according to Obama. Just just remember that. And, and you can't keep your doctor, and there's no NSA, and they're not coming for your guns, and everything's fine. So enjoy the IRS is officially announced. They're going to garnish your wages for Obamacare. <laughs> so get ready for that. Back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, with the weekday transmission. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing.